Hello Versers, it's Odinson here and this will actually be our very first video comic review which will sort of be a lead up to the Spider-Man Homecoming movie that hits theaters pretty soon on June 28th. Uh, so the first comic we're going to review is The Amazing Spider-Man issue 2 that was published way back in 1963. Uh, this issue features the introduction of the Vulture in the Marvel Universe and was written by Stan Lee and drawn by the legendary Steve Ditko. It's mostly an origin story which sort of outlines who the Vulture really is and what he's capable of in terms of his powers and abilities. So we open up with the narrator actually setting the stage for the Vulture. Here we see him actually start as a small time thief stealing suitcases from random pedestrians and more or less striking fear in the eyes of the public. Also, J. Jonah Jameson has his hands full with the pictures of Spider-Man, but he wants more of Vulture as well. Peter, on the other hand, is at school and overhears something about the Vulture going on. Remember that he is always in dire need of money and sees the Vulture as a potential job to get money were, uh, were he to actually get some photos for Jonah. He gets an idea that Spider-Man could potentially get those photos much more easily than uh, an average photographer ever could and grabs a camera from Aunt May and off he goes. On the other hand, uh, the Vulture plans his next mission which is to steal a million dollars worth diamonds. He flies off uh, to add some insult to injury and proclaims to the police uh, that he's going to steal those diamonds. Uh, now Spider-Man sees him and we get to the uh, first encounter, or first fight. Vulture makes a swift loop and succeeds at hitting Spider-Man in the head from behind, stunning Webhead and tossing him into a water tower, hoping to drown him. Spider-Man remarks how uh, he forgot to refill his uh, web shooters and he cannot climb the walls since they are too wet. And this is really cool, I gotta admit. So he dives to the bottom of the water tower and hurls himself up and escapes. He then goes back home to make some refills and improvements, uh, including a gadget that will disable the vulture's wings when attached to them. And now we're actually going to skip a bit and go to the part where Vulture successfully steals the diamonds but is quickly seen and followed by Spider-Man. We actually see that he stole the diamonds from under the ground and Stanley intended for the Vulture to be both a cunning and a deadly opponent and we see that on this panel. Also remark the pun, the Vulture said that he will steal the diamonds from under their noses so that's a cool little hint to the police with which he wanted to show how supreme he was. Uh, the final confrontation is short and sweet. Spider-Man shoots his webs to get himself closer to the vulture and then connects his new device to his wings, disabling them and leaving the vulture to, uh, to the cops. Uh, the comic finally ends with Peter showing the photos of the vulture to Jonah and making some more of that sweet, sweet money. The Vulture, on the other hand, plots revenge against uh, Spider-Man. Okay, versus that was the first in the line of prelude comics, which will lead us to Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, next, we're going to do Shocker and Damage Control, if you like this video, that is. Uh, make sure to let us know if you want more of this, and how can we make this even better. And also sorry for uh, the lack of quality because this is really my first try at this. Yeah, anyway, post your comments below. Bye.